The aftermath of World War II witnessed a complex and morally controversial operation that significantly shaped the trajectory of American scientific and military endeavors during the Cold War. A clandestine initiative led by the United States involved the recruitment of German scientists, many who have been involved in Nazi research programs to come work for the United States. Today, we delve into the intricate details of Operation Paperclip, exploring its origins, the ethical dilemmas it raised, and the profound impact it had on shaping the future of American military and space programs in the following decades. This is History Station. The recruitment aimed to harness the scientific knowledge and expertise of these individuals, fostering advances in various fields such as chemistry, aerospace, and medicine. Operation Paperclip had its roots in the final stages of World War II when Allied forces began to comprehend the scope of Nazi Germany's scientific achievements including jet-propelled aircraft and advanced rocketry. Recognizing the potential of this scientific threat, the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union initiated efforts to secure German scientists, engineers, and technicians for their own national interests. This competition for scientific knowledge marked the beginning of a covert struggle to recruit the best, but not the morally brightest. In June 1945, the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff authorized the establishment of Operation Overcast, which would later evolve into Operation Paperclip. The original mission, shortly after Germany's surrender, was to identify high-profile leaders and move them, along with their families, out of the Soviet zone of occupation into Western Germany. It was named Paperclip because of the paperclips used by military officers to attach dossiers of the German scientists to their immigration documents. Under the aegis of Paperclip, American authorities sought to identify, investigate, and ultimately bring German scientists to the United States with their families for long-term resettlement. Operation Paperclip wasn't a blanket invitation to all German scientists, rather it had specific criteria for selection. The primary focus was on experts in fields such as rocketry, aerodynamics, chemical engineering, and medicine. High-profile scientists, engineers, and military personnel were given priority. Werner von Braun, a prominent figure in the development of the V-1 and V-2 rocket, became one of the most well-known recruits. When building for the Nazis in Germany, his program went through extensive tests to develop very advanced rockets, including the use of liquid fuel. The liquid-fueled V-2 rocket was the first man-made object to enter the stratosphere, and would be a direct ancestor of the Saturn rocket to take the Apollo missions to the moon. Recruits for Operation Paperclip had to meet the following key requirements for expertise, reliability, and clearance. They had to possess exceptional scientific or scientific knowledge that was valuable for American military and scientific programs. Emphasis was given to scientists who were instrumental in the rocket programs and other important programs the Joint Chiefs didn't want in the hands of the Soviets. Scientists with staunch Nazi affiliations or war crimes on their records were typically excluded. However, there were exceptions, as American authorities often looked past these associations in the interest of scientific advancement, national security, or were removed after the completion of light prison sentences. To prevent compromising American secrets, scientists had to pass a security clearance process. This was a crucial step in the recruitment process as Soviet spies were discovered in the United States in the following decades. In the 1950s, a period of Soviet scare came over the American people and many spy rings were discovered. Security remained vital to win this scientific race of discovery against the Soviets. Operation Paperclip was not without ethical dilemmas. The most significant moral quandary revolved around recruiting scientists with Nazi ties, some of whom were directly involved in war crimes or experiments conducted in concentration camps. This prevented a stark conflict between America's desire for scientific advancement and the principles of justice and morality. One of the most infamous cases is that of Kurt Blum, a Nazi scientist who conducted experiments on human subjects at Dachau concentration camp. Some of his experiments included testing plague diseases on prisoners, a fact that he would later deny when on trial. The US government ultimately intervened on his behalf and recruited him for his knowledge in bioweapons research, despite his involvement in these atrocities. The decision to overlook the past deeds of the individuals like Blum was a contentious one, with some arguing that was necessary compromise for national security and technological advancement. Werner von Braun, known for his role in the development of the V-2 rocket, is another example. He was a member of the Nazi party and the SS, but was instrumental in advancing American space exploration. 
When coming over to the United States, he misled interrogators about the year in which he joined the Nazi party, claiming to being forced to join. When building the rockets, his team extensively used forced labor of prisoners, including some prisoners of war, to build his inventions. His recruitment sparked considerable controversy, but he, along with many others, were allowed to make significant contributions to the United States space program and other departments. The extent to which Operation Paperclip compromised American values in the pursuit of scientific progress remains a topic of debate. Some argue that it was a pragmatic response to the emerging Cold War, while others condemn it as a portrayal of justice. Operation Paperclip had a profound impact on scientific and military capabilities during the Cold War and beyond. The influx of German scientists brought advanced knowledge and expertise that accelerated progress in various fields. Perhaps the most significant impact was on rocketry and aerospace technology. Werner von Braun and his team were instrumental in the development of the Redstone rocket, which played a crucial role in the early years of the American space program and getting into space. This expertise led to the creation of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, in 1958. German scientists also made contributions to the medical field. For instance, Dr. Hubertus Strughold, a prominent figure in aviation medicine, worked on human factors in space travel. Other scientists worked on topics like hypothermia, high altitude medicine, and more. Operation Paperclip also facilitated intelligence gathering during the Cold War. Some scientists were involved in developing surveillance and intelligence technologies that aided American efforts in monitoring the Soviet Union and other nations during the ensuing conflicts. The contribution of German scientists were integral to the United States' victory in the space race. While not able to launch the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin, scientific advancements propelled them ahead to land on the moon before the Soviets in 1969. These scientists played a vital role in developing the Saturn V rocket, the space super booster which eventually enabled the Apollo missions enough thrust to get to the moon. While Operation Paperclip had significant benefits for scientific advancement, it also posed challenges and controversies for the United States. At the completion of the war, the United States, the Soviet Union, and the United Kingdom were all vying for the same pool of German scientists, leading to a competitive and sometimes chaotic recruitment process. The need to get them out of Germany on the right side started soon after completion of the war, when the United States began moving scientists out of eastern Germany. The brain drain of German scientists had implications for the reconstruction of post-war Germany. Some argue that it hindered the country's scientific and technological recovery in the coming decades, upsetting its economy and creating a large rift between East and West. Paperclip A covert operation aimed at recruiting German scientists with valuable knowledge and expertise remains a topic of historical and ethical debate. It was born out of the complex geopolitical landscape of the post-World War II era, where the United States sought to gain an advantage over the Soviet Union in the emerging Cold War. The operation raised profound moral questions about whether the pursuit of scientific advancement justified overlooking Nazi affiliations and war crimes of some recruits. Operation Paperclip had a significant and lasting impact on American scientific and military capabilities. The contributions of these German scientists were instrumental in propelling the United States to the forefront of rocketry, aerospace, and space exploration, and their work played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's future. However, this accomplishment came at the cost of the ethical compromises that continue to generate discussion and controversy to this day. Operation Paperclip remains a compelling case study of the intricate relationship between scientific progress, national security, and moral principles. Is there a topic you would like covered on this channel? Please let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching History Station.